You are now tuned into the Sociology Podcast. Sociology is a lifestyle brand that analyzes Chicago culture and connected topics abroad. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow. People in hell want ice water. But people on Lower Wacker Drive just want to know where to go. Here's an example of what we're talking about. All right. Um, let me ask a real question. First off, um, does your GPS work on Lower Wacker? You're a GPS personal. No. No, G- I don't think anybody GPS works on Lower Wacker. Yeah. If they yeah. do show me the car facts. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like, like take um, me with you. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like, you know, the GPS be like, you're on your own now, motherfucker. Like, I'm out of here. Exactly. Like, like, you know, uh, even GPS has limits. And, you know, all over this world, a GPS can save you. But on Lower Wacker, a GPS cannot motherfucking save you. Cannot. You're definitely right about that. It's thing you right on a send-off mission. Yeah, good send-off missions. Um, so, but in your case, it, it wasn't really a GPS issue, was it? Uh, so I want you to explain to me, explain to the listeners, the viewers, the subscribers of sociology, how did you get lost on Lower Wacker and what was that experience like? Okay, well, the GPS did play a part because it took me a minute to even navigate down there. Okay. So I was out, you know, a long time ago, a few, I'm going to say a few years ago, back in November visiting, uh, not visiting, but my friend had a birthday party down there, downtown. So we're downtown and me and my other friend in a car, you know, we rode together. So we like, oh, we thought we found the perfect spot. It's lighted, it's right in front of the liquor store, a few blocks away from the club. We like, bam. We're going, hey, yeah, y'all you know, hit the jackpot because right it's winter time and, you know, it's hard, it's hard to find a park downtown anyway. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Well, in the winter time, in the winter. In the winter time, you luck the fuck up. Exactly. So we like, man, you know, we only got to walk like two or three blocks. It's November. It's cold as hell outside. So we like, okay, this is perfect. So we park there. We go to the club, do our thing. Then we end up leaving the club. So we walking back to where we parked the car or what we assumed the car was still going to be at. So we then we looking around like, damn, I know, you know, we was only three blocks away. Like the liquor store closed, the lights off. I was hey, like, hey, so did, y'all, no y'all, got, car. y'all got lit up in that club, didn't y'all? So y'all kind of blamed it on alcohol at first? Yeah, first, yeah. Well, I'm like, hold on. Like, I know we ain't that messed up. Like, so we, I'm looking around and just looking. Then my friend was like, hey, I think you got told. I was like, now, why would you say that? Like, no, I ain't get told looking around twist they told my car so now is in the middle of the one you know it's dead when in november two three in the morning i'm sitting out there like what the fuck so we trying to figure out what we gonna do like if my car got told so now you gotta you know call the city to see if your car is in the end you know got told down there on little whacker so we huddle up with the homeless people so oh, we shit. get in the homeless huddle. No, nah, they was real cool. They let us borrow their little fire heat. You know, like the- you said, they little fire heat. <laughs> hey, hey, you know what comes to mind when you say that? And I'm not even trying to be insane. I'm just being real. Like the scene in New Jack City, like that nah, shit. We was that's that, like New Jack City, blowing in our hands and shit. Like, because you know, you going to the club, you ain't got on no real coat. Yeah, y'all out there so, being fast and shit. Right, you ain't got on no real coat. Our shit was in the car, like the real coat and stuff. So we out here, like, damn, blowing in our hands in the huddle with them. Like, gee, did you let's call? So we calling around, you know, you got to give me a license plate. And they like, oh, yeah, you, we have your car, but you have to make it here before such and such time. I forgot what time it was. It was like an hour. So if it was two, if you make it here before three, then you only have to pay $200 to get it out. Only. Now, how the fuck you think we going to make it? Only, right. But the trick is, you got to figure out how to get to Lower Wacker. You got to call somebody to come get you to take you to Lower Wacker. Then figure out how to even get down there. So we like, okay, what well, we were, it was like cat a corner from a hotel lobby. So, you okay. know, the concierge was real nice. Like we like, hey, my car just got told, you know, you mind if we sit in the lobby or whatever. So we call somebody right, y'all else. Y'all cold up. as fuck, nose probably running. Yes, cold as fuck. And, you know, you can't really parlay in the lobby. So we got to walk, be in between the doors like night walkers and shit. <laughs> like, like somebody's going to be like, hey, we got 40 for you. You know, you want to ride with us? So we sit up there like, damn. So we call uh, one of our friends up to come get us. So we like, okay, like another friend that didn't go out with us. So 
he came, he ended up coming to get us. So he like, all right, let's go, you know, like take me to Lord Wacker. So I'm trying to get to Lord Wacker. So we're driving with the GPS, but the GPS sending you off. So we got the bright idea, like, hey, the tow trucks, you know, they coming and going from around the area. Let's see if we could flag them down. All mm-hmm. them motherfuckers stop for nothing. They want to fly oh, yeah. past you. Yeah, they ain't got. They, they got don't want to look. Yeah, yeah like, they like CTA bus well, drivers. They don't give a fuck. Like they just gonna keep going. They got a mission. They just yes. they gonna keep going. Right, I'm behind. Like we blowing our horn. Like just welling on it. Like please, you know. Like are we going in the right direction? So basically, you know, once you discover you're going in the right direction, then you pull up, you know, to the impact now, basically. And now you got to bail your car out of jail and shit. And then it ain't $200 no more because you didn't get that within that hour. So, you know, it was a crazy night that night. So how much did you have to pay to get it out? I end up having to pay like four. Damn. To get it out that night. Yes, because, you know, every minute. They keep charging, they taxing quick. You know, you know, capitalism is a motherfucker, ain't it? It's like, you know, hell uh, yeah. It's like it's just another means to keep the man oppressed. You know what I'm saying? Especially in the city, you know, like yeah, this to keep was the poor man, the black OG. man oppressed. Right. This was even before OG Lori. This was Rom turn, Rom Emanuel. So, you know, he had everything implemented. You know, you get King told Rises. at 9 p.m. on the yeah, on a dot and shit, you know. So he had at the weather advisor well we still do that but you know they don't have a sign visual where you can see like oh man this is a toe zone at the 9 p.m you know they put that shit three blocks up when you on the back end of the block and now you get told you like fuck so is that what so, is, so what was the reason they told your car specifically and because it was you know the winter ban going to effect so the winter ban went into effect so they had mm-hmm. the sign posted but it was like literally three blocks up versus mm. you know we was going and three blocks in the other direction so we didn't see the signs and it was nowhere on the block that we were on to say hey you know at 9 p.m you'll get told and you know those signs be confusing as hell because they be like you know from november 1st to february 15th from 9 p.m to 2 a.m and then again from 4 a.m to 12 noon you cannot park it like nigga what Exactly. So it's fact then don't count if you don't see it. You know, you three blocks up, then they got stupid ass shit like that. Then from seven to seven. You know, like okay, it's out to seven. So it should be free. We good, right? Yeah. So but now nah, you ain't good. But now nah, you ain't good. Right. And so, you ain't good. So um have you <laughs> have you had to deal what year was this, by the way? What year was this? Oh man, this was a few years ago. So I wanna say this was twenty man. It was before 2020, so maybe like before 2019. Okay. Yeah, maybe um, 2018. Have you have you had any up close encounters with lower whackers since then? No, I try to uh, be on my P's and Q's when I go downtown. I think I got PTSD. Damn, so Lord, why could get you PTSD? Damn. Yeah, when it's time for me to drive downtown, I I jump in the car with anybody. But me, I'm checking all signs up the block. I'm even double checking the pay box, hitting it to make sure. Oh, yeah, you, you know, it says, <laughs> yes, to make sure it says you don't have to pay. Hell no, I don't want to go get my car out. No, It's like you be Not walking back and forth car. and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, I ain't going back. I ain't going back to that yeah. town, you know what I'm saying? Right, PTSD, because I don't want to get a city not another dime. They always give me for red light tickets and shit, so I definitely ain't trying to come up on no uh, tow money. Facts, facts. You know, Laura Wack is kind of like, um, you know, like in The Lion King, when Mufasa was, like, talking to Simba, Simba's like, um, what's that out there, Dad? Like, where the sun don't touch and shit. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Right. I was like, like calling shit like Oz, like Wizard of Oz, like you go there, like doing you know, all the fucking Hey, hey, that, that shit like motherfucking purgatory down there, G. Like, you know, yeah, like see, yeah. like when I ain't never been told. Sun definitely don't sign. Th- thankfully, I never been told. You know, I, I got hella oh, tickets. You know, I've been on the uh the ticket list. I think I was even on a boot list at one point, but I I you know I finessed that because I ended up paying off some of my tickets. But mm-hmm. you know. Lord Wacker, dude, it's just like as soon as I used to hit Lord Wacker, my GPS would be like, oh, I'm gonna take a nap. You know, like, yeah, it just, like what the fuck? It just say know, rerouting, rerouting. And, you know, people say <laughs> once you know how to uh, navigate Lord Wacker, it's very effective. And I believe that because Lord Wacker essentially is just like a fucking underground expressway for downtown. That's basically what Lord Wacker is. If we're gonna keep it real, it is. But, bro, like, I don't understand that shit. And I've been living in Chicago my whole life and I still don't understand it. 
like even with all the new developments and you know construction that they didn't did to make it more efficient and fast paced, I don't know where the fuck I'm at. It just looks like I'm in Gotham City the whole time. Exactly, the going past tent city time. and shit. You know, you gotta saying? go past the homeless. Like no disrespect to them, you know, but I be out there like, damn, I don't know. You Who's know, said, like, damn. You said, <laughs> like you said, it's Gotham City. Like the sun don't shine, it look depressing down there. Gee, it, like, you don't know what's going on. And, and 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 again, it's not really about the homeless, unsheltered citizens either. It's just that shit looks depressing. Period. Like it, it just looks fucked yes. up down there. Like you know, like a fucking video game or some shit. You know what I'm saying? And like you gotta like navigate through the underworlds and defeat the evil boss and shit. It's fucked up. It's fucked up, bro. Yeah. Like penguin live down there, like you said. Penguin definitely might live down there. You know what I'm saying? He definitely might be down there. That might be where they took the Joker at the end of the Dark Knight. You know, you just really know what the fuck you're going to find on Lord Wacker. You know what I'm saying? You just really don't know. But um, one thing for sure is the the reason why them tow trucks wasn't stopping and helping y'all, because they was doing the same shit that they did to you. They was out there getting that cash, towing motherfuckers left and right. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Right, exactly. Then they don't want, come on, it's like you said, it's capitalism. Why would I tell you how to go get your car before a certain time if I know I can make bank? So why that's, would I stop? Like, oh yeah, turn right down here and make a left. You just told me. So the more cars I told, the more money the city and the revenue was bringing in. I'm not going to stop and give you directions. That's a good point. I never, I never really looked at it from that standpoint. You know, it's kind of like they want to send you off on purpose. You know what I'm saying? Like your right. shit is so, like to the right. They're going to send your ass to the left and around the corner. Exactly. It took me a minute to see that standpoint because I was all heated. But now I'm like, yeah, what? what's the point? You know, they're not going to tell you. That's like yeah. a millionaire telling you exactly, you know, verbatim, step by step, exactly what he did. Oh, yeah, they ain't you never know, giving you shit. the playbook. Ain't exactly. nobody gonna give you that. Yeah, they ain't never right. gonna give that shit. You know, they'll say you a course like, you know, five thousand dollars though. Exactly. They'll give you a course. They might put you on some of the game, but they're not gonna put you on a true game. You know, like a hundred percent. Like this is the blue map to everything. So that's the same with Laura Wack in the city of Chicago. You know, we all know Crook County. You know, it's all about money. Oh, yeah. Crook County is real, boy. Crook County is real. And Laura Wacker is like, you know, just where they keep all, you know, cars and like, you know, purgatory, purgatory, hell, all that (laughs) shit. And, you know, they send, you know, innocent individuals like yourself on a goose chase. So how long did it take y'all to find this car? Um, It took us about like two hours tops. You know, just to navigate, because we kept looping around Laura Wacker, just trying to figure it out. So I say two hours tops max. Like, that's the most that it took us. And that was just on us. You know, it was a night we was at the club. So, you know, we like, oh, man, we kept passing. And, you know, it was a lot going on. And you know what else pops in my mind as you're telling this story? Like, Scooby-Doo, you know how them niggas was, like, running around, like, constantly, G? Like, just, <laughs> that's that's kind of, like, what pops in my head as you're telling this story. It's just like, you know... <laughs> You know what I'm saying? What the fuck happened to the car? You know what I'm saying? And then, like, y'all right. finally find a pound. Like, it was you the whole time. Like, that's that's exactly. what pops in my fucking head. You know, I mean, I ain't trying to laugh at your pain or nothing, but, you know. That's no, shit. like, it's true. Like, you pop, man, you running around trying to find it. Then, like, what's that? What Scooby-Doo van? The little mystery van? <laughs> you get it. Yeah, the man. mystery machine. Right, the mystery machine. So when I finally get my car back, the mystery machine, then I got to drive it all the way back. You know, like, damn, you had a long night. You just want to sleep after that. Long like, that's enough night. to take you out. Long yeah, motherfucking like, night. That's, right, and that's y'all was dropping y'all sobered up real quick after that, didn't y'all? Laura Wacker was sober you to fuck up. We sobered up once we noticed the car was told and gone. Even that's if you sobered it, you're going to get sober on Laura Wacker. Yeah. Oh, definitely. All that uh, loops and turns. And, you know, it ain't even well lit down there at night, for real. Hell no, it's not. Like, they got, like, those little orange lights, yellow orange lights. Yeah, I was about to say. But, like, that's Like, some stuff you like, uh, what? what's them lights, you know, you, uh, like, back in the day, you like, oh, man, what, Jason or Candyman gonna pop up out of here. You know, like, it ain't even no lights that you want to be on. It's like, like you said, them orange dim lights, like Gotham City, Penguins. Mm. All that stuff. Mm-hmm. You don't even want to be down there. Them Grand Theft Auto three lights. Like you're yes, about. definitely, definitely. That's, that's, that's what this, and that's then the so, it, and how many of y'all was it on this goose chase? Three. So three women, three the blind, blind leading the blind. blind. Yeah, so the three, blind leading the blind. So three blind mice. 
You know what I'm saying? And you know, I'm just talking shit. But like, so it was three of y'all, and y'all was just out here, G, just out here. You know, it's like, damn, you can't even call an Uber because an Uber can't help you. A exactly. Lyft can't save you. you right, because the price just gonna keep going up. And then what address you gonna put it? A lower whack of toe. You know, like they it's like a million, address, but yeah, it's like a million. Yeah. Million. You know what I'm saying? But so, you know, that's wild, OG. That's wild as fuck. Like, very, very uh unfortunate. But in hindsight. Would you call it hilarious? I mean, I don't know. Like, oh, definitely. So after that, you know, me and my friend, every time we go out now, if we carpooling, you know, I'm like, hey, you know, we ain't gonna be out here like Ren and Stimpy or peanut butter and jelly, you know, like, nah, we gotta uh, do something better from that last time. Cause not last time we was together, well, not last time, but one time we was together, you know, she locked her keys in her trunk. So I'm like, hey, this ain't looking too good. Damn. What, together? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Locking the keys? How you how you lock the keys in the trunk? Know how she locked her keys in her trunk. Like she had them in her hand. We was just chilling there. She looked at me like, oh, I think I locked my keys in the trunk. I said, oh, no, you ain't do that. Like, please say you ain't do that. And she definitely did. She locked her keys in the trunk. So, Damn. Yeah, it's like Ren and Stimpy out here with that. <laughs> I'm Ren and Stimpy. We be, <laughs> yeah, we be like, what's that? Like, hey, brain, what are we going to do today? Pinky in the brain. Get locked so, out our cars or get our cars towed again. Man, yeah, yes. So you, you're you like, nah. So when we go out, like, hey, we don't want no shenanigans. Jeez. Like, everybody got to be alert. Yeah, everybody got to be alert. Pay attention to the motherfucking signs and Definitely. shit. Learn how to look. Can you look? We just talk about GPS back when niggas had to use fucking, you know what I'm saying? Um, fucking maps, map quests, map quests, <laughs> and shit. You know what I'm saying? Niggas would not last on Lower Wacker, so hell no. Learn how to navigate Lower Wacker so next time you know you're in an unfortunate situation, you can get not the even Lower Wacker, just learn how to navigate without GPS as well. Because you know, like you said, back in the day. We didn't have all that GPS. You type it in your phone and you could just go, you know, like you had, for instance, you had to know your way to Macomb. It wasn't oh, no, enough. put it in your phone and it's going to tell you. You see the cornfields, you're well on your way. You know you're going in the right direction. Yeah, I, um, I got, that shit is ingrained in my brain, even though I'm, I don't plan on going back anytime mm-hmm. soon, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't um, even think I could take that drive no more. Yeah, it's dry. Um, that, that drive yeah. is dry as hell, you know, uh. You know, you know what would be, you know, the only thing worse than driving to Macomb is being stuck in an endless loop and cycle on Lower Wacker. Yes. The only thing worse. That keep looping around and around and around. It's the only thing worse. Like, just take me now, Lord. Take me up there with Elizabeth yeah. in there. Right. Definitely. Definitely. So I would not suggest Lower Wacker to any of your listeners and subscribers. Like, whatever you do at all costs, stay away from Lower Wacker. And if you so, go into the club, you know, just, you know what, just pay the, park in the fucking parking garage yeah, at this point. Like, yeah, you know, I'm old now. It's so expensive as no fuck. Stuff. But if you downtown, you already planning on spending a lot of money, spend the extra $25, park in the parking garage. And get valet. Avoid, yeah, get valet <laughs> or get valet, yeah, and just avoid all that bullshit altogether. You know, we at that point in life now. You know what I'm saying? You already downtown. Mm-hmm. So you, you plan on spending at least 100 at least, you know, so. Just go definitely. ahead and spend that extra 25. It's, it's worth your peace of mind. Hey, definitely. You're definitely correct about that. That's my suggestion. And you can avoid them rusty ass sharks, aka tow trucks, and you'll be good. Definitely. Because they ain't going to show you the way how to get there. Absolutely. And you in Oz now. <laughs> Oz. <laughs> Funny as hell. Hey, so who would be the wizard, though? If, if Lord Wacker is Oz, who would be the wizard? Get the ones that uh hold the keys when they put your shit up on uh on the bed, the tow truck bed when they drop it off. That's the wizard, the grand wizard. That's when the they wizard. release oh, it back yeah. to you. Mm. I feel like I feel <laughs> like you pay the man the money. Be, I feel like Lightfoot would be the wizard. Or no, is that just like you know, you know what I'm saying? I think she okay, she the grand wizard, but okay. Okay. I'll put her at top. She the grand wizard, but like up under that on, with her great blazer on, yeah. I can see it. Oh yeah. I yeah, she the grand, it. like she. She do all of it, but this wasn't even her time. This was right, like right. Ramadan, it was Ramsey's. So. It was Ramsey's. You yeah, know Ramsey's time. Yeah. So you know, he had he was trying to fill some shoes from daily and everything. You know, all the little stupid implements. He put red light cameras and all that. So you know, hey, Rom short as fuck. He's shorter than me. Oh damn! 
Yeah. I ain't never seen him in person. I seen Lori in person. I ain't you know, never seen him. Fun fact, you know, here's my like little three seconds of fame. I walked Rom to his seat when I worked at the Chicago Theater. Like this was like very early in his term, like when he first got elected. You know what I'm saying? I had escorted him to a seat and shit. I'm like, damn, who is this little motherfucker? Come to find out it's the mayor. I'm like, gee, how you smaller oh. than me? How you smaller than me and you the mayor? Not a motherfucker on ABC News and shit. That's dope. I got a fun fact too. Before Obama was president, when he was running, I actually met him and I had did an interview on the news for him when he was still senator. Oh, that's and what's I up. got yeah, and I got like a letter and everything from his office to say, hey, thank you and everything. Cause you know, that was his first term when he was like fresh off. Fresh. You know, he won Obama, Obama. Yeah. Right, he right. Was, like, he said he wasn't Obama, Obama. Campaign. He was just Obama. You know what I'm saying? He yeah, he was just Obama, you know, hitting the local like junior colleges and all this other stuff. So yeah. So I was uh home from school in the summertime and you know they had everybody in the auditorium and I just was like, all right, walk in there, then you know, somebody just grabbed me, like, you want to do an interview about him? I said, sure. So they had me <laughs> all on like channel five news and stuff. Oh shit. Like, okay. Oh shit, you famous. Okay, one last fun fact. You interviewed Obama before he was Obama. The True Mobile, my company's vehicle, was on Michelle Obama's Becoming documentary uh, special on ABC. It has three seconds I've of fame. I've seen that. Yeah, I've came seen down the block. It. Came down the block. I wasn't even at home, I don't even think. Motherfucker was parked outside the crib. I was asleep. Woke up to like a million text messages and shit. I'm like, damn, my truck famous. Right, but everybody know it belonged to you. And you know, uh, so? yeah, yeah. So you know, we got to put it in a museum or something. Like here lies the True Mobile where Michelle Obama drove past. Definitely, you need to go down there with the Art Institute. Then they just have a whole little Obama uh, display. Right, <laughs> right. Put it at the Obama Library. You know what I'm saying? That shit. Yeah. You know, put it at the Obama Library. But you ain't never gonna see the True Mobile on Lower Wacker though. That's a fact. Um, definitely stay off Lower Wacker. I know you ain't gonna be on that with it. Hell, the fuck on Upper Wacker's where it's at. <laughs> fuck that. Right, like, nope, nope, nope. Oh, if you go down there, I don't know what to tell you. It's what they say, Bangkok has it now. <laughs> That's how I feel about it. Bangkok has it now. If you enjoyed this podcast, I ask for two things. Number one, leave a five-star review. And number two, pass it on to a friend who may enjoy it as well. And don't forget to subscribe to our other podcast.